Welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. I sure did. I literally... Well, it's actually about a half hour later for me, but I am back. I mean, clearly she just missed Luigi that much. That just a half hour away is just... Oh, it's too much, man. It's too much. It's crazy. Alrighty, welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy. I'm keeping my end of the bargain. I don't give two shits about you two. Fuck you. We're going to actually do this legit. Plus, we ended up with, like, over 50 extra lives last go-around, so who cares? It's too easy to get extra lives in this game. Just, whatever. We're doing purple coins this episode. I'm keeping my end of the bargain. So, yeah... How's everybody doing today? It is still August the 20th when I'm recording this. If that tells you anything. I'm just having way too much fun, man. And I'm also trying to figure out how many episodes of Mario Galaxy that we have left. But, eh, whatever. Welcome back to the Good Egg Galaxy. It has been too long since we have been in this area. It's a nice, easy-peasy mission to get you started with the whole purple coin concept. Basically, it's the same idea as the Mario Sunshine one, but now it's spread across multiple planetoids, and, you know, stuff like that. To me, these are more interesting because, you know, you're having to revisit a lot of these planetoids and seeing just how creative they can get with uh, placing these purple coins. And, you know, it's more, for, it's more of a spectacle than getting the uh, purple, then getting the 100 coins of Mario 64 or Mario Sunshine, but, you know, some people really don't enjoy the purple coin missions and stuff, and I can totally understand. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of missions like this one, but I like the ones that are, you know, more of a challenge, ones that are, you know, more on a strict time limit and all that, because that means you have to really hunt down all these purple coins fast. Some of them can have some pretty uh, strenuous time limits, so yeah, beware of that. It's crazy. Anyway. I'm trying to think of what else to talk about. Yeah, I'm pretty much talk about literally everything under the sun. I guess we can probably talk about maybe some beta footage and stuff, but... You know what? Everyone knows about the beta of Mario Galaxy at this point. If you guys don't, then definitely look it up. It's very interesting stuff. Let's start some star bits while we're at it. I'm not used to the fact that the music keeps playing in Mario Galaxy because I'm so used to the music ceasing whenever you grab a star and the star appears in Mario Galaxy 2 that it just feels weird. Then again, I'm also not used to the fact that you have to keep going with the damn time limit going in Mario Galaxy. And honestly, I think that's more challenging. It's way tougher to have to keep doing it within a time limit and having to grab the star within said time limit. And just ugh, so crazy. And in fact, I think we're about to run into one of those particular comments, which... I think those are probably the most common comments, or the ones that have a tight time limit. The more open world comet missions are very few and far between. That's probably because a good chunk of these galaxies aren't open world, or at least aren't very open, so it makes it harder for level design to revolve around more open gameplay, but I don't know. This is a little interesting. Because usually the Honey Hive one doesn't show up until after I go after the Space Junk one. But, I don't know, I maybe this will be the gimmick of this particular LP. Because, like I said, usually the comments kind of go in random order, but usually... Well, I should say they appear in a seemingly random order, but in reality, the comments actually show up in a pretty predictable pattern. Usually they appear like... You know, you go to one dome, and then they'll appear in another dome. Usually the one right after. And usually, um, it won't just be that dome. It'll also be every other dome, except the one that you're currently in. So, yeah, that can be kind of a problem if you... 
really want to do all of the comets in one region in one fair swoop. Trust me, it, that's just not how it works. But if you really are that concerned, then Tico Luma will have your back. Yes, I actually did find out what the name of that purple Luma is in the Comet Observatory. His name is Tico Luma. And, or, I think he's called Comet Tico. Yeah, his name is Comet Tico. Because Tico is actually the Japanese name for Luma. I didn't know that until I started doing research for the game because, you know, I got bored and, you know, Mario Galaxy actually has a lot of interesting uh, facts about it. Like the fact that uh, Good Egg Galaxy during the beta phases was actually part of a greater area called uh, Star Planet. And the Star Planet had Star Toads instead of, you know, the Lumas. Which I think that wouldn't have been nearly as fun. But, interestingly enough, there was actually for the longest time a Star Toad plush, indicating that they were actually planned as far in as uh, maybe about 2005, 2006. And then the Lumas showed up and took their place, so, you know, that's kind of interesting, kind of interesting indeed. It's just fun to find out just how much a video game can actually change and just within the span of like two years or hell just within a year it can change oh so much like some people probably didn't think mario 3d world looked that interesting from the beta but you know more things were added and you know more people got to figure out what the cat power up could do and you know it became really interesting Honestly, I don't even remember what the uh, Mario 3D World trailers were like. Like, in terms of, like, the actual beta gameplay trailers. Because once the game was further in development or whatever, the trailers for it were actually pretty cool. I liked the, uh... actually liked the trailer for Mario 3D World. Because it was just these... this family playing the game and they were constantly donning cat suits. And, uh... It really just made me want my own cat suit because it was honestly it's basically Mario and the gang playing Kigurumi because you know a Kigurumi suit actually comes in multiple varieties including um, including but not limited to animal costumes because that's basically what a Kigurumi is it's a costume a Japanese cosplay kind of thing and you know, I actually, for the longest time, really wanted a Kigurumi costume, because I found this one that was a, uh, that was a calico, and calicos are, to me, some of the most adorable cats on the planet. But, unfortunately, there's just not one in my size, and it made me sad. Anyway, so basically that's what I think the Mario 3D World costumes are. Um, they just happen to have a few extra features. Like, the ability to actually walk in and act like a cat. It's kind of interesting. I also looked at, you know, while I was looking at the beta for Mario Galaxy, I looked at some beta elements for Mario 3D World, and, you know, some of the artwork is kind of interesting. There really isn't that much, to be honest. But, you know, some of the artwork is kind of cool. Like, the fact that Peach's cat form was going to originally bring over her brooch. Is it her brooch or her brooch? I've already pronounced both ways. I'm still going to call it a butch. Because it's spelled like butch. Or not butch, but um, kind of like booth. So you would think that it would be pronounced very similar, but no, it's not. It's pronounced like it has an A or an E in there. It's just That's one of my biggest pet peeves about English, is that there's so many weird contradictory rules that it just, it makes it confusing even for those that speak the language. Like, it's bad whenever, you know, people from other countries can't learn your damn language, but it's bad when even those that speak the damn language can't explain what the hell is wrong with the language. Like, there's so much that doesn't make sense about English that we ourselves get confused. But anyway... I don't know. I've gone on that red many times, but it still needs to be said. It's like, come on, English. But anywho. 
What the hell is there to talk about? I'm collecting coins. This is bad as bad as whenever we were collecting the blue and the 100 coins in freaking Mario Sunshine. I don't know what the hell we're going to do for Mario 64. Because I do plan on doing that game at some point in the future. But, like I've mentioned in the past, I want to get the actual cartridge for the game before we actually go into it. And I was actually debating doing the DS version, because the DS version has more levels, but at the cost of worse control. So, I don't know. It just depends. I think we'll probably just do the original N64 version, because, you know, that's the one that I know, and plus, the pace of that game is way faster than the DS version. So, honestly, I think that just makes the game more preferable for an LP. Because, you know, you want your LP to move at a relatively quick pace, Otherwise, people are going to get bored. And honestly, I'm kind of shocked that you guys haven't gotten too bored with some of my other shenanigans. Like, back during the A Hat in Time playthrough. I mean, I guess some people really don't like certain parts of that game. And to be honest, I don't blame you. Although I was kind of surprised in the Shantae episodes that actually more people watch the freaking cutscene episode then watch the follow-up episodes. So I guess people thought there was going to be more cutscenes or whatever. But no, I promise. That was just the reason why I divided it into its own episode is just because, to be honest, I don't know how the hell I would have fit that video into it, into a, you know, a decently linked episode. And plus, there were so many cutscenes that I just didn't know... Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's my answer. I really don't know what the hell else I was going to do. Because, you know, you know, it's just, it's one of those things. Cutscenes were just too damn long. There were too many of them. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Ah, that was terrible. That was awful. Come on. Okay, I'm back. Oh, mercy. I can't believe I forgot about those coins right there. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I didn't expect this one to take so long, but it did. Now, let's see here. Oh, well. I guess things weren't that important that they needed to be said. Now fling that thing, Luigi. Alright. Two stars in a video, that's embarrassing. We were doing so well. And then I died. Oh well, that's how things go sometimes. So anyway, I'm going to have to close off this video here because we are at 19 minutes in the recording. So thank you guys for watching. I'll meet you in the next episode. Bye.